today we're going to go over parallel lines and transversal notes. So first of all, parallel lines are coplanar lines that never intersect. So here on the right is an example of parallel lines. They are both on the same plane and they will never touch. Skew lines are non-coplanar lines that never intersect. So in other words, those lines are not going to be on the same plane. So this is an example of skew lines. There are two lines on separate planes. They still won't ever touch, but they're not parallel because they're not running in the same direction. They're on separate planes, so that's what makes them skew lines. Parallel planes are planes that never intersect. So this picture over here are, is the same picture as up above, but what I want to pay attention to this time are the planes themselves. So one is directly above the other, and they will never intersect. So they are parallel planes. So example, um, in this picture, which planes are parallel to ABD? So ABD is ABD is the top. So it's the whole top of this box. So which planes are parallel to the top of the box? Well, that would be the bottom of the box. So you could call it plane, um, let's say EFH. It doesn't have to be called that. You could use any combination of these four points that make up that plane. Um, and it doesn't necessarily matter what combination you use. They would all be correct. The next one is which segments are parallel to CG. So CG is here. So parallel has to be on the same plane, remember? So if they're on the same plane, DH is on the same plane using the um, this side of the box. And then BF is on the same plane using this side of the box. So a lot of kids would think EA would also be parallel, but it's not because it's not on the same plane as CG. So it's only BF and DH. What segments are skew to EH? So EH is here. Remember skew has to be lines that are not on the same plane. So they cannot be on the front of the box, the side of the box, or the back of the box. They have to be on a different plane. Um, or even the bottom of the box because it's on the bottom. So things that are skew CH is on, CG is on a different plane and it does not touch it. BF is on a different plane and it doesn't touch it. BC is on a different plane and it doesn't touch it. BD, same thing, on a different plane and it does not touch EH. Um, so different plane and doesn't touch. Every other segment is either sharing the same plane or it'll touch. So these are all of them. So BD, BF, and CG. Yeah, because this one touches, this one touches, this one touches, this one touches. This one is on the same plane. Oh, this one doesn't. So CD would also be one. This one is also an AB. This one's on the same plane, and that one's on the same plane. So it also would include this one and that one. There we go. Now we got it right. All right, a transversal is a line that intersects two or more lines. All right, so on this one, our transversal is line T. because it's the one that intersects the other two lines. All right, we have lots of different angle pairs to learn. So first of all, let's start with alternate interior. Okay, whenever we talk about sides, we're talking about sides of the transversal. So this is one side of the transversal, and this is the other side of the transversal. So alternate interior, and, oh, and then we also, that's sides of the transversal, but then we also talk about on the inside or outside. So this is all inside, and this is all outside 
of those parallel lines. So we have to the right or to the left of the transversal and inside or outside. Whenever we say interior, that's this part here. So I'm going to go ahead and color code this way so that you know what it's talking about. And then I had made this side yellow, I think, and this side pink. So alternate means that one side will be on yellow and one side will be on the pink. So alternate interior is on the inside across from each other. So that means four and six. And then also three and five. They're on the inside, so in the purple, and they're alternate, so across from each other. They actually make an X. Okay, then we have alternate exterior. which means that they're going to be across the transversal on the outside. So that I had made blue, right? Yeah. So exterior is blue, and they're going to be alternate. So in other words, crossing on the outside. So that would be 1 and 7. And then two and eight. Okay. Next, we have consecutive interior. So consecutive just means next to. So um, they're going to be on the inside, but on the same side of the transversal. So inside, but same side of the transversal. So what that means is we're looking at four and five, and then three and six same side or consecutive on the inside or interior. Then we have consecutive exterior. Which means they're going to be on the outside, but on the same side. So outside on the same side, one and eight. And then two and seven. So just to kind of write notes about what I've been saying in real language, alternate interior is on the, it's crisscross on the inside. This one is crisscross on the outside. This one is same side on the inside. And this one is same side on the outside. And that's what those words mean. It's just you don't usually see them written a whole lot in the real world. So the last one we've got is corresponding angles. And I call this same side skip. So they're always going to be on the same side of the transversal, but they're going to skip over an angle. So if I look at one, I'm going to skip over four and go to five. So it's one and five. If I look at four, I'm going to skip over five and go to eight. If I look at two, I'm going to skip over three and go to six. And then if I look at three, I'm going to skip over six and look at seven. So three and seven. Same side skip.
All right, so now we have to classify these angle relationships. We're looking at 10 and 16. So this is the transversal in that case. They're on the outside and across from each other. So crisscross on the outside is alternate exterior. Next set is 4 and 12. 4 is here, 12 is here. So now this is the transversal. It's sideways. And then this is the inside, this is the outside. So they are both on the same side and they're skipping over this number three. They skip over it. So same side skip is corresponding. And then 12 and 13, 12 is here, 13 is here, which means that this is the transversal. This is on the inside. So they're on the same side of the transversal on the inside. So they are consecutive interior. Last one is three and nine. Where's nine? So that makes this the transversal, and this is on the inside of the two lines. So they're on opposite sides, they're crisscrossing, and on the inside, so alternate interior. And that's the end of our notes.